without any plans for a sunrise, I enjoyed a pleasant hike through the Shulman Grove on the morning of day three. The trees in this grove are much older than those found in the Patriarch Grove, but photography is much more difficult here. The chaotic nature of the forest makes it difficult to isolate individual trees against a simple background. Later that afternoon, I scouted some nearby Forest Service roads high above the tree line. Felt like I was driving on the moon. There might be a little bit of a change in the plans. This tree behind me is the one I was hoping to set up my morning shot for, but I was a little late setting up my shot, which means I had to basically point my camera at the sun, and it's a little hard to do that. What I'm gonna to try to do is set up for an evening shot. And you see I have my camera in position here. I'm gonna use a normal lens and see if I can get a nice color gradient in the sky from the Earth's shadow. If this turns out, it'd be pretty awesome because there's a good chance it won't. If there's any chance of wind, and it's kind of windy right now, as I'm sure you can hear, uh, it will definitely ruin the shot. So I'm gonna wait around here, wait till the light gets good, and hope that I can get something. But otherwise, I'm gonna be back in the morning to set up my next morning shot. This is why I go on my trips for many, many days, because otherwise, I probably wouldn't take a single photo. Well, I might actually have the opportunity to get this shot. I got a couple of factors that are all working in my advantage right now. First of all, it's been pretty clear back over there, so I'm gonna definitely get the earth shadow rising. The clouds are back there, they're actually pretty well developed, which is pretty good, so they'll be small in the composition, but they'll be there. The other thing is I wanted to have some nice warm light on the tree back there. And there's a big mountain on this side over here, which blocks a lot of the light from the sky, but I'll we'll flip the camera on here. So those clouds up there. If those clouds catch some of that pinkish orange light from sunset, it means that that light's gonna get reflected on my tree there. I'm gonna take the shot on color negative film because it's probably gonna be a long exposure and I'm gonna use the Kodak Portra 160, which should do pretty well. So if the wind stays calm, if that cloud lights up, I think I might be in business. I didn't get the light I was hoping for that evening, but since I was already there and my camera was set up, I decided to take two photos. The first was taken just before the tree fell in the shadow. It was an easy exposure, and I shot it on Fuji Velvia 50. My second shot was taken roughly 15 minutes after sunset on Kodak Portra 160. Though I didn't get the shot I was hoping for, I was excited to return the next day and try for a morning shot. 